All right, that takes care of that. That was quite a challenge. <laughs> Apparently not. Thanks, V. Hmm, thought so. Looks like Rufus did land his airship here. How can you tell? They leave fairly distinctive indentations in the ground. Looks like he's flying one of the latest Ranford models, too. You can tell that without even seeing the ship itself? Uh, <laughs> he strikes again. Anyway, we've dealt with the also now. I guess we should head back to Ruhr. Yeah, it's not over till we report to the client. Sweet! Best part of any mission is the reward at the end. Oh, shit. Oh, it's a treasure chest! Ooh, it's a terrific ring. Uh, do I want to deal with any more monsters around here? Oh, uh, what's everyone's, uh, level of progress? Uh... Man, not, not worth staying around for, honestly. Oh yeah, uh, I should switch this back now. Job here is done. How about... Eh, I did put Aegis on last time. smoke. Is it coming from the factory? W was there an explosion? Damn, we better see what's going on. Oh shit. <laughs> I thought I was done for. Is everyone alright? What happened here? Uh, I don't know. They came out of nowhere. Monsters. It's in the factory. In a factory? In the middle of the city? No, no, don't those aren't your everyday beasties. They looked almost mechanical. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah, sounds like there are cases we fight a Gorillian fortress. Oh shit. Yikes! Crap, did the fire reach the munitions? That's not good. There's still people stuck inside. Are you kidding me? It's true. We haven't been able to account for all the workers. I don't even know whether the other guards are safe. Why haven't the railway military police arrived yet? Or the provincial army? I don't even hear the siren anymore. Maybe got busted up by the explosion. We need to go in. Are you serious? The people in there need help. And right now, it looks like we're the only ones who can give it to them. How many minutes until the fire claims someone we, we could have saved? I'm not going to- or I'm not about to- I'm not about to just stand by and do nothing. We. Wait, it's too dangerous in there. At least wait for RMP's reinforcements to arrive. Every second counts here. The sooner we go in, the better chance we have of saving those inside. You can help us out by evacuating everyone still in this area. Uh, uh well, you have a point, but... Sounds like we're just gonna pin our, all our hopes on you guys. I beg you, save the others still inside. Eh, just leave it to us. Alright, we're going in. Ready. Oh, shit. What is that thing? Holy shit! S stay back, you monster! Still no side reinforcements? Damn it. We're done for. Oh! God, has because have mercy on us! Just hang on! You. You're. Leave this to us. You guys make sure all, uh, all the workers are evacuated. Got it. Oh, looks like we're dealing with one of those archaisms after all. Though I've got to admit, it seems like a meaner breed than the ones we fought in Gorelia Fortress. It's packing some serious firepower too. If we let our guard down, we're finished. All right, let's keep it from focusing its fire and take it out. Right. Enemy sight. Take him out. Go. <laughs> Damn. All right, let's do this. <laughs> My turn. 
Uh, burn, freeze, blind. Here. I can do this. All right, blind went through. Keep it up, everyone! Here we go! Oh, right. Ah, uh, Yeah, they just will stop. Go! Nope. And strength down, too. Okay. Didn't I have something that was... Ah, here it is. My turn. Alright, what's your delay? 20% effectiveness. Uh, should I go for another debuff? All right, wait, that's a hundred K HP. Holy shit. Dude, what is with this health scaling? <laughs> I wonder if we have a time limit. Also, I just realized I wasted my domination. Oh, uh, whoops. I didn't know I was going to a fight right away, though. Because I didn't bring him closer. Whoop. Oh, that's not good, actually. Huh. That's exactly why I was bad. My turn. Wait, is it free? Oh, yeah, we can freeze it. A surfic ring? Full heal and regen. I'll handle it. It's my turn. For my turn. She, nah, okay, she'll be fine. There. Need to reposition. Nice freeze. Okay. There you go. Oh, 
Not gonna hurt me. Okay. <laughs> Is everyone okay? <laughs> I, I thought I was gonna have that middle finger of a self-destruct attack, but then Fee was gonna block it because she has a, uh, what was it, Aegis on. Nicely done. <laughs> I did it. Please hold your applause. did it. Man, that hunk of metal didn't go down gently. Oh, wow, you guys are really something else. I can't believe you actually beat that thing. I thought I recognized that uniform. You must be those students from the military academy. Thank goodness everyone's alright. Mission complete? Uh, <laughs> it does look that way. Are you all unharmed? Claire? Yeah. Captain Claire, the railway military police. I'm relieved that none of you seem to be seriously injured. Please, leave this to us and evacuate the building at once. Huh? W what do you mean? This factory contains classified military information and materials. Only authorized personnel are permitted to enter. No exceptions. Not even for the daughter of the Reinford family. W well, can't say I'm happy about this, but... Well, she does have a point. We'll leave things here to the railway military police then. <laughs> Thank you. Please, show them out immediately. And make sure to treat them courteously. Give special attention to the injured. Yes, ma'am. The fact that she had to tell them to treat them courteously. Uh... They're, they're like, they're just a small detail like that. Still gets me a little bit. Because, you know, considering the whole political situation and stuff, even if we're, like, the, like, current heroes for the moment, yeah. <laughs> With the railway military police on the scene, the situation at the factory was under control in no time. It swept through, clearing out the remaining archaisms and extinguishing the fires, bringing an, inc uh, the bringing an end to the incident. It looks like everything should be all right now. Sounds like all the people who are uh, who are still inside are safe, at least. The railway military police uh, have earned their reputation. Agreed. I certainly have a newfound appreciation for their capabilities. Though I suppose I should have expected no less from an organization under the under the chancellor's direct control. All is well that ends well, I guess. But still, this has the terror's signature all over it. Sure seems that way. Yep. Don't know why they wouldn't uh, show up in person, though. Yeah, it makes me wonder what they're trying to accomplish here. I'm having that looked into as we speak. But Captain Claire, 
Um, thank you for all your help, Captain. <laughs> Likewise. Thanks to your quick thinking, none of the personnel were critically injured. <laughs> Glad to pitch in where we could. We're just happy to know that all the people inside made it out safely. As am I. That said, it doesn't excuse your actions. Yeah, we weren't allowed in there. It was fortunate you were able to defeat that Archaism without backup, but I don't appreciate that you ran in there without waiting for us to arrive. Not only does this factory contain confidential information, you yourselves could have been seriously hurt, or worse. Uh, I... Try to gain an understanding of the crisis unfolding here, then do your best to stay out of it. That's what I told you last night, and it seems it didn't take. I'm telling you again. Uh, wow, talk about a critic! Well, she is not wrong. I realize that, but I'm afraid I can't turn a blind eye to it. Especially not when lives are on the line. What? If we have the power to save someone and we don't use it to do that, what kind of people would that make us? That's why, even if you reprimand me, I won't regret, uh, I won't regret us doing what we did. Oh, mean. <laughs> Very well then. Huh? I'm placing you under arrest. That's kidding. <laughs> Fortunately, no one was gravely injured, so I'm willing to overlook your rashness this time. But I'd suggest exercising a little more caution in the future. Do I make myself clear? Y yes, ma'am. Woo, look at you getting all tongue tied, lover boy. You've fallen for your charms. Ye. I told you, it's not like that! <laughs> uh, Captain, do we have any idea where that archaism could have come from? The terrorists might, might may be the prime suspects, but we didn't see any of them inside. Come to think of it, we were wondering the same thing, so we did a little digging around. And it seems they were brought into the factory in shipping containers. Not just recently, either. Over three months ago. Th three months?! That would mean they've been sitting in the factory since late June, back when we went to the Nord or back when we went to the Nord Highlands, and roughly a month before the Imperial Liberation Front announced themselves to the world in Heimdall. To be honest, we neglected to consider the possibility ourselves. Unbelievable! So today's incident was planned that far in advance. It certainly appears that way. Their leader is frighteningly cunning, but compared to the others, we still haven't turned up much on him. I suspect he was responsible for planning what happened here as well. You are talking about C, right? Isn't that the guy you fought in the capital? That's him. He was pretty tough. You can say that again. Exceptional strength and calculating er, and a calculating intellect. It looks like we're going up against a real beast. It seems so. We'll need to remain vigilant going forward, but for now, you can leave things here to us. I suggest you get back to your field study- Wait a minute. Uh, Captain Clare? What is it? Is something wrong? There's no sign of the provincial army. But now they should be well aware of what happened here. Damn it! I can't believe I forgot about them! Whoa, so what are you saying? Captain Clare! We got trouble at the mine! He's been hit by the terrorists! Blast them! What? I feared as much. All units withdraw. We're heading to the Saxon Iron Mine. Send a me message to HQ. I need 12 companies uh, from the surrounding area here inside of two hours. Yes, ma'am. What's going on? I'm not sure, but... From the sound of things, the mine we were in yesterday was attacked by the terrorists. Oh no, the miners! Sounds like we better shake a leg! Yeah, come on, let's follow them. Oh boy. Everything here's been taken care of, just move along. Well, before we go to the mine, let's talk with everyone. Is it just me or the little soldiers all seem pretty on edge? You don't think there's something else going on, do you? I gotta be overthinking things, right?
I feel like I should pitch in and help clean the place up, but we're not allowed to go inside. Oh well, I guess I should be getting back to my real job. But that was one scary fire. Still, everyone got hurt is being attended to, so it looks like everything's gonna be okay. All the injured have been taken away to receive medical attention. On several landings, I none of them were gravely injured, and we've got you to thank for that. Double. Why am I the one working the counter anyway? I'm a customer! Come on, Yuna, shouldn't you be doing this? Sure, as soon as you pay off all the money you owe us. Right, then I'll get back to work. Uh, so yeah, welcome. Do you want to order something? Uh, I swear that's Vance. Or is it Vance? Or just Vance? I don't know. It sounds weird with uh, Devance or something. He just ran off and left uh, left to go see what's going on outside. I was surprised to hear about the fires, uh, about the fire nearby as he was. But he didn't see me to, uh, running off and abandoning the diner. He needs to take take better care of his business. Anything on the by road? Oh, oh no, we can't even deviate to the side areas. I swear, I've been worried sick. I suppose all that matters is that they've been- that they're both uh, safe and unhurt though. Thank you so much for protecting them. Adios. Uh, I was just playing hide and seek when the factory just went boom all of a sudden. I really made me jump. Made you jump? It practically gave me a heart attack. Do you have any idea how worried I was? The uh, Mom's face was scarier than the actual explosion was. I almost got hurt in the explosion at the factory earlier, but Tanya came and saved me. Thanks to him, I haven't even or I haven't even got a scratch. <laughs> he really is a good friend. I gotta make sure uh, he knows how thankful I am. Aww. Ooh, looks like it's all over. What a relief! That was terrifying. Looks like we owe a lot to the people who sorted it out. The railway military police, wasn't it? You're welcome! It looks like the fire's been put out at least. It's a good start, but it does seem as though some people were hurt in it. I wonder what caused the fire to begin with. Oh, right, I forgot to read the Imperial Chronicle. Okay, I'll do it after I talk with everyone here. Uh, oh, right, the fountain went outside. Well, what about Jackass? Thing about the military factory catching fire sounds real fishy to me. Guess it doesn't matter what I think though, does it? Uh oh 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 oh. oh. Hello, Sharon. Why, hello everyone. Uh, Sharon, what are you doing here? Uh, <laughs> I came to see how you're all doing. I was worried uh, you, may, you may have been injured. I brought a number of rent for company products with me just in case. If you need anything, do let me know. It's as if she already knows we're going to the Saxon mo Iron Mine. Why does she always have to be this way? Now, now, this really isn't the time to be arguing. Wait. Makeshift store. <sighs> Oh, wait! Are we not even allowed to go up the escalator if we're allowed to buy our weapons? What a relief that you're all in good health. <laughs> Please, do take care of yourselves. I've been told there was a fire at one of the factories. Hmm, it's possible old materials they built, are, uh, they built it with are dangerously flammable, but I smell foul play. Factories like that are designed with safeguards against fire in mind. Yeah, they sealed off the first floor, meaning I can't go to the hotel on the second floor. Oh, dude, I just wanted to return from the highway, get back up to 200 CP and carry on, but then this happened. 
That was crazy. All these cars just, just shot right by me, headed north. It came by from the direction of the station, too. Did something happen up at the mine? But my heart's still racing. I thought everything would be okay after they put out the fire. And then a bunch of military vehicles uh, go roaring off into the distance. What in the world's going on? Oh wait, uh, this old lady's still like chanting the the store motto. Forget the fire at the mil at the military factory. No, we got sales to make. And let me guess, if we try, yeah, I saw a bunch of military cars racing out of town before. Did something happen? You think? I heard a siren wailing earlier too. It was a diversion. Hey, Cena. How you doing? Actually, uh, did I get everything? General goods, the store, diner... We can't go anywhere else... Actually, anything about the elevator by any chance? No, no, we can't even, like, go near that. Anything around by any chance? Nah, okay. Guess we're gonna have to... Also, I guess we're gonna have to get our CP back up to 200 the good old-fashioned way. But yeah, you just missed us fight the, uh... Archaism boss over at the military factory. After it set up a fire. And everything. Now we're going back to Saxon Mine. Ugh. Every minute we spend here, things are getting worse for the miners. Stay calm, Elisa. Yeah, the railway military police are on their way, after all. Let's at least try and get a look at what's going on. Now's our chance! Here we go! Right! Uh, oh, you don't have enough CP for that, right? I'll handle it. My turn! You know, I should really just replace Ancient Glyph with Grand Press or something. Uh, or alternatively. My turn. I can do this. Now. I'll back you up. This is it for you. That was perfect, Elisa. Let's keep it up. Let's replace this with Grand Press. Grand Press is like what, 100? Nah, even 100 seems like a little too much. Do I have a... Uh... Oh, I don't have Earth Lance. Or Earth Lance R. Eh, Earth Lance. be a little... Or it'd be a bit cost-effective. Oh, whoa, 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 My turn. My turn! Actually, let me just move a little bit here. I can do this. Hang in there! Thanks! <laughs> Thanks! <laughs> Oh, wait, 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 So wait, that one's down there. This one's coming up next. Come on. God damn it. It's not gonna happen, is it? 
Oh, fuck it. <laughs> My turn. Uh, can we kill it in time? Okay. No. Target lock. Too slow. Here we go. I'll get you up. Right. Oh, we did it. Now's our chance. We can do this. My turn. All right, let's do this. Give it to me. It's my turn. Okay. Got it. Mm, I'll read it. <laughs> uh, actually, don't we have a? Oh no, no, no! That was Elisa with the uh, holy. Uh, or no, the that that one. That one buff. Actually... Hang in there! Thanks! <laughs> Thanks! <laughs> Arcus, activate! Ha! Here we go! Wait, don't I have... Uh... No, did I not have... Oh, I guess I didn't have Impassion on... I don't have Impassion on anyone. I could just hold on. Uh, put on gladiator belt. That would make things a bit easier. Then, and who should put on? I think Green should go put on. Okay, you don't need that much movement. Where's impassion? There we go. God, that turn delay though. Uh, I think we should kill a good amount of them though. No, it. Oh my God, it threads the needle just barely, so it only hits one. I just... It always feels weird 
when an ally tries to, uh, to cover an ally taking a hit, but then the person trying to cover dodges. So then it's like, wait, does that defeat the purpose of covering? Go! I feel it's like a deflect or something. Okay, I understand. But man, if terrorists really were planning to blow up the mine, it would shake the very foundations of the Empire. Can't relax yet. All right, finally, everyone's at 200 CP. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, uh, that means I can switch this back to Deep Osher now. Hmm. It makes me wonder whether or not I should put on Passionate Rouge for the Crow here. Well, it still has some of respectable arch strength compared to compared to Reen or Fee, though. Because like Elliot is a bit of an exception considering his his orbit lines and the fact that whoops, and the fact that we have Brahma Gem on him. Like, Kinda stacks things quite a bit. Or alternatively, maybe I could move it over and bounce it out onto Crow, but mm, I'll just put more of my eggs into one basket with Elliot. And anyone close to leveling up? Eh, not really. I'm not really gonna grind anyone to level 59, it's a little bit excessive. That looks like a strong one. Be careful. What the hell? Oh shit. This is awful. Smoke's pouring out all over the place. Can't see too far like this. Did Terra set fire to something? Looks like the fire's been put out. But something still seems off. So, the terrorists decided to strike here rather than the military factory. Look! Over there by the entrance! Huh. Looks like the railway military police and the provincial army. Yeah, but what are they doing here? Looks like the entrance is completely blocked off too. Let's go and take a closer look. Oh boy. Oh yeah, anything else I'd like to put on to read? Actually, what did Cross Crusade R give? Oh yeah, 400 HP. Hmm. I mean, alternatively, we could have... We could put Serific Ring here as an emergency. Because anyone can use it. Or maybe... Eh, nah. Ah, uh, 
No, I think 11 movements like big enough. Action 3, which is what I ditched before, but... Hmm. No, I think I'm good here. Okay. They just try to listen right over here. They tell they wouldn't notice us. The terrorists have complete control over the mine. They've taken the miners hostage. Any attempt to enter the mine may put their lives in jeopardy. And that's why you're standing out twiddling your thumbs without even attempting to negotiate with them. They clearly have an objective in mind here. We can't allow them to buy any further time. It looks like a pretty heated argument. So the terrorists have taken over the mine. And, the, and as the first ones on the scene, the provincial army has taken it upon themselves to set up a blockade. Or at least that's what it looks like at first glance. But, but why? Man, this has suspicious written all over it. Yep, the provincial army is too well prepared. No matter how you look at this, they gotta be in on it. You can't be serious. It hit on it? The terrorists, set, the terrorists set off some kind of explosion in there. And look at all that smoke pouring out. That's what they want you to think. But doesn't that look like smoke uh, from a fire to me? They're probably using smoke grenades. Smoke grenades? If that's true, that means the provincial army has some other reason for blockading the mine. Maybe it's got something to do with Reinford's uh, first factory. Oh, that's right. The railway military police were investigating the first factory too, weren't they? Yeah, that's what Captain Claire said. And that makes the timing of all this look pretty damn suspect. Almost like they're trying to... Uh, almost like they're trying to... Er, almost like there's something they're trying to hide. And that means they sealed out the mine to give them enough time to dispose of it. Makes a fair bit of sense if you think about it. But what could they be trying to hide? What's down there? No way to say that, or no way to say for sure right now. But what I can say though is that it's pretty clear the miners are in danger. We need to find some way to help them if we can. Let's return to Ruru for now. We need to think carefully about what to do next. We, we walked all this way. Okay. I mean, we did need to assess the situation at first though. Yep. If we're going in, it's better to have a plan. All right. Let's head back. No one's just gonna notice us, like, on the side of the corner of their eye. Alright. Don't ball right. <laughs> well, to start with, we need to work out exactly what's going on here. If it's true that the terrorists are working with the noble faction, then it seems likely their aim is to eliminate the evidence of whatever they've been hiding in the first factory. But did they really have to go this far? The Iron Mine is owned by His Majesty the Emperor himself, right? That's right. The province of Nortia is tasked with managing it while Reinford mines, refines, and processes the iron. And iron is the single most vital natural resource to this nation's continued survival. If this isn't resolved quickly, it's going to deal a heavy blow to the entire country, including the nobles themselves. So I guess the question is just whether the noble faction and the terrorists realize that or not. Sounds to me like they're a pretty divided bunch as it is. Yep. The terrorists seem like they're basically all commoners too. They're only cooperating because they both see the Chancellor as a common enemy. And if that's the case, it seems pretty likely that what they're doing here is related to that somehow. Sounds like someone started the party without me. Aww. Yo. Let's fucking go. Angelica! You came too, George? Yo, figured you'd show up eventually. Oh yeah, Crow was talking with George on the phone last night. Well, we had to test the sidecar, obviously. Spike is just full of surprises. 
You made the trip to Ruhr in seven hours. They spent seven hours riding in that? So, speed-wise, we're looking great. Comfort, though, we're gonna have to tweak a few things. D I swear, you two never change. Kinda figured Toho wouldn't be able to make it, too. Yeah, she's working on gathering a boatload of information, though. She said she'd be in touch if she finds anything out. Well, <laughs> that's reassuring, at least. Um, could someone tell me what's going on? You seem to be hot on the trail of something, but I'm not sure it's the same thing we're investigating. Does this have something to do with those family affairs you told me you were worried about? Yeah, it does. I had some nagging suspicions about it. Unfortunately, my hunch turned out to be right on the money. Hold on. Isn't the director of the first factory... My dear Uncle Heidel Rogner, yeah. Oh boy. Seems like it might do us both some good to swap info. How about it? Let's find a better place to talk. Uh, it's fine someone brought that up. They're dumping iron onto the black market? Yeah. The amount of steel they're producing doesn't quite match up with the amount of iron ore being mined. Uh -huh. That's been the case for quite a few years now. Officially, the reason given is that the purity of the ore being mined is lower now than it used to be. Oh, shall we listen to the serious music, though? But if you look at what's coming out of the mine, there's no evidence of that. Well, that would explain why the figures don't add up. And because they were feeding the raw iron onto the black market rather than the finished steel... That makes it a lot harder to notice when a little goes missing here and there. Man, Toa put all the pieces together on her own? Toa figured all this out? I'd expect no less from my beloved Toa. She poured over everything. Reinford's yearly sales figures, government reports on the mine's productivity, you name it. What the fuck? Toa did all this herself? Holy shit. <laughs> That's how she picked up on the discrepancy. She's really something else. Iron ore being sold off the black market, accounting sheets that don't add up. George, how much iron ore is unaccounted for, roughly speaking? Do you know? Assuming for a moment that all the missing iron was refined into steel, how much steel would we be looking at? Hmm. This is just a bit of speculative math on my part, but I'd say somewhere in the neighborhood of 100,000 torum, which is enough to build 2,000 oxen tanks. Holy shit. 2,000? That's practically an army. The Saxon iron mine is a pillar of the Empire's economy. The amount of iron they pull out of there is almost ridiculous. So for who knows how long they've been like stealing away that much iron from the iron mine to build up all those oxen tanks or whatever else they would be using with all that iron? Even if you pocket a small amount every year, it's going to add up to a lot of iron real quick. Yeah, no one's gonna notice a little bit going missing day to day. But what are they planning to do with all of it? Is the noble faction trying to make their own tanks in secret? They couldn't even if they wanted to. Only the second factory has the knowledge and equipment to make tanks. And not only does the second factory have close ties with the Imperial Army, it also leans toward the reformist faction. Unless there's someone else on the inside, I don't know. You need all kinds of complicated technology to make even a basic tank. Or they could have looked into the society. Or, yeah, they, look, they could have looked towards the society to help them with that. Who else would, like, have something as complex as a tank at this point in time? Because it would be highly unlikely for there to be a an insider in the second factory. Or a second research uh, division. Yeah, that that's the only thing I can think of. Uh, without Calvary one, I think, to do with Erebonian inter, uh, internal affairs, so no way they're related to this. It's not as simple as just grabbing some steel, some blueprints, and some grease and getting to work. They need to have some serious backing to try to pull this off. So what does that leave them? Selling the iron to another country for profit? I don't know how likely that is. Seems like deals that big would be too easy to trace. And wouldn't the Noble Faction have, like, all the money in the world to begin with, especially with the tax hikes that they've been, like, 
trying to push, like, for all these months now. Like, extreme increases on all the, like, on all the provinces, or most of the provinces that align with the noble faction to fund whatever they're making with all that iron. Okay, so setting aside the ore itself for a moment, now that you know this, and given what's happening in Ruhr right now, what were the two of you planning on doing? Ah, oh, it's pretty simple. My uncle oversees the first factory, and the provincial army is blockading the mine. There's no way my family isn't involved. On the other side, you've got all the miners just trying to do their jobs who got dragged into this whole mess. I'm a Rogner. I might not be a great daughter, but there's no way I'm gonna let this go on without putting up a fight. Please let us have Angelica in the party. Angie. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're seriously gonna go talk to your old man about this? <laughs> Hell no. Like he'd even listen to a word I said. Same goes for the provincial army. I'd just be wasting my breath. So time to screw up both of them directly then. That's why I'm planning on sorting out this mess myself. There we go. I used to work part time in the mine. I know the place like the back of my hand. As long as I can find my way inside, I think I can handle the terrorists well enough. Oh shit. I mean, there was supposed to be the 1v1 we had with Angelica to show us how powerful she is, even if she was quote unquote rusty. Even though we sort of kind of one shot her despite uh, the build up. Uh, I figured you'd say something like that. Honestly, does nothing phase you? She better be like level 65 or something when, when she's in our party. In that case, I'd like to ask that you take us along. Uh, we can look at this as a test of how to best respond to a sudden crisis. <laughs> Looking at it from that perspective, I think it fits neatly within the scope of our field. You know, I just love how there's that, like, uh, the, the mine worker at the counter who's just been left there still. The Devant's still nowhere to be found or still in front of the factory, by the way. And meanwhile, we're talking about all this within earshot. <laughs> you think that we would go up to, you know, like, uh... The uh, penthouse floor in the Reinford Company HQ and discuss this since no one else should be there and I would doubt that Chairman Irina would have like any bugs to kind of overhear any secret, co secret conversations or anything. So it's like, <laughs> we're talking about all this stuff and like that mine worker over there is just like, well, none of my business, nope. <laughs> Yeah, after hearing all that, I don't want to let them have their way. Agreed. I'm with Angelica here. My family's involved in this too. I feel like I have a duty to do something about it. Thanks. Truth be told, I was kind of hoping you'd back me up anyway. Whatever help you can give, I'll take it. <laughs> well, that's that. The next thing we need to consider is how to slip into the mine without the provincial army taking notice. At the very least, Angie should be able to get the officer in charge to talk with her, but... So, what, we sneak inside while she's distracting them? I don't know, that sounds a little overly simplistic to work. Leave finding our way in to me. If anyone's oh. good at cutting red tape, it's my mother. Maybe she could help us out. She could. Would she? Well, if you think so. All right, I'll leave securing an alternate route to you then. For now, I'm gonna see if I can find out anything else about my family's or the provincial army's involvement here. George, give Toa a call and see if you can find out what the Imperial government is doing about all this. Gotcha. I'll see if I can turn up any machinery that might be useful too. <laughs> this is starting to feel like last year's field studies all over again. Last year's? We were glad to have George, Angelica, and Toa backing us up. In a crisis like this, we needed all the help we could get. And, and as a first order of business, we went to see Chairman Irina, hoping she'd know of some way to sneak into the mine. We should get going too. Your mother should be back at the Ramford headquarters right, by now, right? I think so. Sharon said she'd be in around noon. We can always just ask at the reception desk, though. 
Yeah. Ah, <sighs> looks like we'll be kicking into high gear again. Uh, <laughs> I feel like every field study is destined to end up like this. Oh, no, oh my god, I'm gonna have to talk with everyone again! Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Give me a moment. <laughs> 